Hey guys, what's up? I'm super excited about today because we just got a new vlogging camera and um, this is gonna be like the first vlog, so I'm really excited. Today we are going to be doing um, inventory. I had a friend come up, Taylor, Tay Marie, and we were supposed to do some carving and I wanted to show her around the property and then I ended up getting a little boo-boo on my finger. Did you cut your thumb? I did, it's okay. Shut up! So I've just been running my little saw, MS-193. I've been using it, but I'm coming back to my little tiny log pile that I have here. <laughs> no, I have more over here that are laying around, but I'm working with small logs today. These guys are actually really green. If you have super green wood, like just carve the carving, take all the bark off with your saw, and then, oh yeah, like these, these guys are pretty heavy still. And then let them dry in the sun. Grab my MS-193 and start cooking. There's like sawdust and oil all over this camera already. Okay, so now that we got it carved out, this cardinal guy, did them up pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Dremel tools here and do his beak and his eyes so he can see. So I have two different Dremel bits that I use. They're both from Sabretooth. They're both from Sabretooth and one's an eye cutter and this is the eyeball bit that I just go in and put the little eyeballs in. <laughs> There's this massive airplane that just like made a whole turnaround. I don't know if you can even see it. There's not a zoom lens on this, but it's way over there. Just did a crazy turn. done. I'm trying a different style. Um, normally when I make these bears I don't add like the rings but for these guys I wanted to do something a little bit different. Make them more like kind of I don't know. <laughs> Such a happy little bear. I'm trying to figure out which one's my favorite. I think I like this one. And then the two cardinals. So these three, this piece, this piece, and this piece was from that uh, really fresh um, log that I had. So I got three carvings, three little carvings out of that. So that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna, cause last year I did like all red cardinals. And this year I wanna keep some a little natural, you know, like do the female one and the male one. So I think this one's going to be more of a female one, and this one is more of a male. Now I'm going to 
work on my custom order that I have. It's this little fox right here. I started him in the winter time, so he's super, super dry. I had him blocked out, but it's so, like, it, there's a lot of work that needs to be done with it still. <laughs> I'm gonna fix him up a little bit, because he's too, like, triangular to me. I just blocked him out, but his tail's, like, wrapped around in the front. That's what she wanted, and then, um, also, like, with the base, I kind of brought it in some more, which I think this like swooping motion here like really adds a lot to the style of the carving. Remember that the dolly is your friend. Put it on the end and then lift up your carving. This is not that heavy. Gonna grab some screws and screw him down. And spray your screws so you know where they are. I like to go with a bright color, and then whenever I'm done, I'll take the screws out and then carve over the red. So I'm gonna shape him up a little bit differently and gotta find a saw. What saw am I going to use? That's better lighting. <laughs> is all detailed up. I'm super happy how he turned out. He does have a crack in his tail, so I am going to um, fix that. I'll show you guys how I do that in a minute here, but I just wanna show you what he looks like. So yeah, look at him. He's pretty cute. He's got his tail wrapped up in the front, and then like the base, I took it in. So it just gives it more of that cool dimension look. And you can see like with my screws, I did not go over them because I painted them red. I put like three of them in here. There's two on this side and one on the other side and I'll unscrew that and go over it with the saw that I was talking about. I have to fill this in and I'll show you guys how I do that. I use um, Gorilla Glue and I also use water and scraps. Water to activate the Gorilla Glue. This is just an old container and a hammer and some scraps laying around. <laughs> Neighbors. Um, okay, so this I haven't used, and like when you get grill glue, there's like they seal up with plastic, and this is how I do it. Kind of like place it in there as if you were gluing it to get an idea. 
And then also I like to put the glue on put the glue right on the piece. I go on both sides. And then you just shove it in there. And then the hammer is for tap it in. How you fix your cracks well that's how I fix them and this is the end of today's video I'm cutting it short here because um, Ben and I are actually going on our three-year anniversary date so I gotta get cleaned up and look all cute so uh, yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and the bell so you know when future videos are coming out because they're coming so be prepared have a great day guys bye